South Carolina is paying taxes to help me insure my kids in Vermont. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. <laughs> but you might want to insure your kids and your single adults, who are the biggest uh, losers out of this. However, it gets more complicated than this. It isn't just a matter of doing the right thing. And it's not even a matter of bringing money into the state that your taxpayers are paying. It's also a matter of creating jobs. A lot of these folks that don't have health insurance are going to get health care anyway. It's one of the arguments that right wing uses. Well, you know, they're going to get health care anyway. All they have to do is go to the emergency room. Well, you're going to hear from some people in a little while when the rest of the panel comes up. They're going to tell you just exactly what that costs because those folks don't get paid anything. Because if you have no money, the hospital morally has to take care of you. I don't know many hospitals that won't. So you'll show up in the emergency room, you'll get the most expensive kind of care you can, and somebody else is going to pay for that. And that's the hospitals in the form of not being reimbursed, which put down, puts pressure on them. And it's also the business community. One of the reasons that we wanted to cover everybody was not just because we believed all the things Jim was talking about when he was eloquently quoting the Bible. It was also because our business community was tired of paying the costs for a whole lot of people that weren't getting adequate health care because they just went into the emergency room. They had to. So if your hospital is paying, I'm going to make this up because every hospital is different, but let's just suppose your hospital has a million dollar a year bill for uncompensated care. That is, people use your emergency room. And by the way, using the emergency room is a terrible way to get health care. If you, if that, it's, it's, for, it's for going in to, when you're really sick. It'd be much better off if you went in three months before because you had health care, then you wouldn't end up using the emergency room, you wouldn't be so sick, and you wouldn't cost as much. But of course, if you don't have health care, you put everything off as long as possible. You go in, you get your care, you get done by a billing company for the rest of your life, and you still can't pay because you can't squeeze blood out of a stone, somebody has to pay that bill. The hospital writes it off as uncompensated care, but they can't go running deficits, because if they do, they get smaller and shrink down and can't provide services. So who do you think pays? The employer pays. Because what they do is raise insurance rates. They pass their bill to the insurance company, and the insurance company says, we don't want to pay this. So somebody has to pay. The hospital says, well, if you don't pay this, then we're going to have to cut back on our care. We're going to have to fire some nurses. We're going to have to fire some doctors. And the hospital pays by taking jobs away. We're going to have less job for the graduates of this incredible institution because it's so it's very health care. A lot of health care provides a lot of jobs. And then the insurance bills go up because the hospitals have to get the money from someplace. So they go from the people to the people who do pay. So for every patient that goes in that can't pay, that money gets that bill gets transferred through insurance to the employers and through, through insurance to the individuals. That's called the cost shift. And people have been about complaining about it forever. It's a legitimate complaint. The hospitals, they're, they're non-profit, almost all of them. They have to make the money someplace. They shift the bill to the insurance company. The insurance company shifts the bill to you or more likely to your employer. That makes South Carolina less business friendly than it could be because somebody has to pay the bill. Boeing is paying for some of the uninsured, uncompensated people. Now that's fine, all good. Your other costs are low, you're still attracting jobs, but sooner or later that gets to be a big problem. 